Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I made um, recycled plastic sheets out of plastic items around in my house that we didn't use anymore. Um, so let's get started. Um, basically you have to recycle any plastic that says, um, let me make an example, it should say HDPE on the bottom. Um, I don't know if you could see that, but it says number two in the triangle, which is good. That means it's HDPE, and you can melt HDPE quite easily in your oven at home. You just set it to 340, maybe 350 if you need to. I do 340 now because it tends to smoke a little bit at 350. Um, you set it to like 340 for about an hour and it melts down. Just make sure you watch it. Um, so, yeah. Um, let me show you what I made. Uh, let's get started with this sheet. This one right here, I simply um, melted in a melted in a container. It was a square. It was a circle container actually. Um, when it melted, it was all gooey. It doesn't get liquid. That's an important thing to realize. This stuff, when you melt it, does not get liquid. It gets more like. Uh, chewing gum sort of like that but anyway I took it out of the out of the pot when it was done and I put it in a in a square wooden mold I made and then I had a little press and I clamped it with the top piece of wood smushing this between the bottom um, I wish I could show you that but I don't know where it is right now but anyway it worked out pretty nice. I just tried cutting it there to see how it machined and it looks pretty nice. But this looks pretty good. I mean it's solid. Let me, what can I bang it on? Um, this. There's no way this stuff is going to break. I threw it outside um, on the concrete really hard. Threw bricks at it to test its strength. There's no way this stuff is breaking. I mean let me show you this. I mean, I wish I had something to whack it with. Yeah, it's not breaking. Um, this is tough. But, this looks pretty nice. But, compared to the ones I made after this, they're about 100,000 times better. Let's throw that off, and let's show you the better ones. So this was made with medicine bottles. Old ones, of course, that didn't have any stuff in them. They were empty. And bleach bottles. Melted it down. Um, had a pot. Compressed it with the circle mold. And it came out pretty nice. Just tried drilling a hole to see how it came out. Pretty good. This is even tougher than that one, it seems like. I mean, I threw this, I threw this from the window onto hard bricks as hard as I could. And it would not break. Not even a chip. This is tough stuff. This is not a joke. This will real. This is really good stuff to make whatever you want out of it. It's even stronger than two by fours. A lot stronger. No way you're gonna break that. So let's throw that to the side and show you the next one. This one is the true one that came out even nicer. Um, this I melted about ten times. Um, I had it in. I did not compress it. This one was not compressed. I simply melted it in a square mold. It's let it spread out for an hour. Let the bubbles rise to the top. And it came out pretty good. Um, no compression again. I did not compress this stuff. I did not use any kind of compression mold. I just let it flow into the container. And it kind of worked pretty nice. Um, I think it works a lot better that way now. I have one more to show you. Actually, two more. I'm sorry for going so quick through this. I don't have much recording time. But let's show you the next one. The ultimate one right here. This one came out gorgeous. I mean, there's a little twisting here, but it is just so smooth. It's almost like... It's like glass. I mean, it's not any kind of rigidness or any I mean it's not kind of like bumpy it's completely flat um there's some 
there's not really any discoloration, just a little bit from dirt, but it's like pretty darn, pretty, pretty darn good, I mean, um, it melted really flat, I mean, I can make whatever I want out of this, I made wind turbine blades out of one I had, this is just really good stuff, um, watch how hard it is, I'll bang it on this one. There's no way that stuff is going to break. I did that super hard. Not even a dent. Um, again, this is all HDPE. And then the last one I melted is this, which was a peanut butter jar lid. This is not HDPE. This is polypropylene, something different that I did as an experiment just to see how it would come out. And as you can see, it didn't come out as nice as this, not even close, but it did work. It did flow throughout the container and it worked. But I noticed it seemed to get hot too fast, so I might have to lower the temperature down for this. This stuff will shatter more, but it's even more rigid, like it's hard as a rock. Like, I can, it can't really scratch it, but you could just tell it's a little bit harder. And for the last test, I'm going to literally... Right now, I'm going to throw this outside onto hard bricks. Or no, in fact, I'll throw a brick on it, drop a brick right on top, and see what happens. And I'll throw it too. So, without further ado, let's get started. I only got one minute left to record. So, here's the piece. we go got the brick brick snapped not a dent well that's dents always been there it's always never been perfect this piece but 